afternoon we have game two of the three-game series between the Kansas Jayhawks and the TCU Horn Frogs. Juco and 25 in Division One, lined to left. That's a base hit. Often. Line down the right field line, long run. Kiefer is not going to get there as it goes all the way to the fence. They're going to try and score the runner. Here's the throw. Henry's throw is not in time, and Kansas has a 1 0 lead. And he's got a hit here. The shift was on, and he just hit it the other way. And that shows you how good of a hitter Jake Gunther really is. Henry. Trying to keep the momentum going. Lines it back through the middle base hit. They had the shift on for Henry. So Gunther had to kind of hold up because the second baseman, Constantino, was playing behind the bag. Bouncer. This should tie the ball game up. The play is made by the shortstop, Messinger. The throw to first pulls the first baseman off the bag. A run scores, and we're tied at one. All hands are safe as Henry goes to third on the play. Kiefer 0 for 1. This will untie the ball game as it sends Vasek back. He makes the catch, tagging his Henry. The throw will go to second, and it's 2-1 to one TCU on the sacrifice fly by Kiefer. Not at the right turn. This one's hit through the hole on the right side. Henry able to maybe get a piece of it, but it'll be a leadoff single for Messinger. This one's lined towards the left center field gap. If Watson can't make a play, he'll have to pick it up on a hop. Going first to third on the play is Messinger. Back-to-back -back base hits for Kansas. They have runners at first and third. Nobody out. In the air, straightaway center. Riser has to back up. Still going back. As the ball carries well, that'll get the tying run. Home is tagging and scoring as Messinger to even the game up at two apiece. It's pitch number 100. A swing and a... The ball got behind the catcher. Nobody's covering the plate. Now they're going to throw it. And the ball gets away. King is down. The runner scored. Schlossnagel thought it was a foul ball. Isola thought it was a foul ball as he didn't move for it at all. And now Jim Schlossnagel wants to, to know from John Brammer what the deal was. It looks like they're going to call him safe. And that call's going to stand on the field. The crowd obviously doesn't like it. That came back in this fourth inning. Bounced up the middle. Henry has it. Goes to second for one. Throw to first. Not in time as it pulls Gunther off the bag. A run scores. Looked like they were set up for the double play. But the throw was to the outfield side of first base. And Gunther could not maintain contact with the first base bag. And it's now a 4-2 ball game. Kiefer drills it towards left center field. This one is going to be down and all the way to the wall. Diving for it was Schinkel. One run scores. Here comes Henry rounding third. He'll score and we're tied. This ball's drilled deep left field. Way back. And it is gone. Alex Isola ends it. The second consecutive ball game. The Horn Frogs end it with a walk-off home run.